Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to cover a few questions today off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, the mathematical knowledge portion is not so much word problems as it is straight mathematical content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So number 11 is super bizarre. They give you this series of numbers here and tell you to find this last one. I'm looking through this thing and like you're adding 13 and then subtracting 10 and there it's all over the place as to what's going on because it turns out that there's not one continuous series here for all of these. It's actually an alternating series where you look at this number to this number to this number and you look at this number, this number, and this number. So if you look at all the underlined ones, you're multiplying by two each time. Three times two is six, times two is 12, times two is 24, which is gonna be our answer. For this guy right here, you're subtracting four each time. 16 minus four gives you 12, minus four gives you eight. Why they would make it two different series and then treat it like it's one, I have no idea. It could have you guessing forever, but the answer here is D. After number 11, this one seems pretty easy. It says the number, which one is true? So remember, this guy right here, this says less than and this says greater than because it always eats the larger number, if you want to think of it like an alligator with its mouth open up right here. In this case, it says that this number is bigger. Well, that's false. Four is bigger than that guy. This one says that this guy's bigger, also false because the zero right here makes it smaller than this guy over here. Over here, it says that this one's bigger. This one has two zeros after, so this is indeed true, meaning our answer here is C. This, my friends, is a trick question because it says here we got this triangle, we're finding the area. If you didn't know, the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. So in this case, the base usually is across the bottom and the height is how tall it is. If you look at this, it looks like four would be your base and six is how tall it is, but we have no guarantee that this is a right angle, so we don't know if this is actually the height of anything. You have to actually turn it on its side and look at this as the base of this triangle, and you're going to do seven times that height, which we are guaranteed is a right angle right here. So seven times three gives me 21. We still have to do half of that. So that's gonna give us 10.5, which is answer D. Why well, guess and check when you can do it with the math? So here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna multiply this first guy here by a clever form of one in the idea of three over three. Why am I gonna do that? Because I want this bottom number to be six. So X times three on the top is gonna to give me three X over six. And then we still have that plus X over six equals Four. Now, what happens is we can multiply the whole thing by 6, which is going to give me 3x plus x, because those will cancel out, equals 4 times 6 is going to be 24. Well, now I have 3x plus an x, which is going to be 4x equals 24. Divide both sides by 4 there, and we get a final answer of 6. For number 15, we're going to use something in the exponent rules category here. If you didn't know, if you are dividing two numbers with an exponent, if you have the same base for both of them, like we do in this case, then you can just subtract the exponents to get your final answer. So I still bring the 10, but 5 minus 2 is going to give me 3. So that means our final answer here is B. Well, that's all for today, guys. So go ahead and hit that like button below if you found any use in this content. And remember, if you want to see other things like this, go ahead and check out the videos over here, and they'll help you practice for your next attempt at the ASVAB. Good luck, and I hope you have a wonderful day.